swear I should just film all these skincare routines in the bathroom from now on. Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to do a skincare routine video and I haven't done one in a long time since I've stuck to a routine for the past year or more now so um, I guess today I can just show you guys my updated skincare routine and other ways to remove makeup and all that. Yeah. I guess we shall get started. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to film this. I'll either do it... Actually, no. Yeah. Today, I'm going to film it as a walkthrough. First step in a basic skincare routine is makeup removal. Now, if you're someone who wears makeup um, almost on a daily, like whether it's a light amount of makeup to a full amount of makeup, you really have to take off your makeup at the end of the day. Um, and you know, it's best to like let your skin breathe and just let it, you know, repair itself while you're sleeping at nighttime. So, removing your makeup before you sleep is very, very important. For me, I use a variety of makeup removals. Um, I have a specific eye makeup remover that I use, which is the Nivea um, Daily Essentials Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. And this has, um, if you see here at the side, you can see how there's two different kind of liquids. You have an oil base at the bottom and the liquid at the top. And basically you're just supposed to mix this and apply it on a cotton pad. Where did my cotton pad go? So like, I just use those basic round ones um, and you know, I let it sit on my eye and you know, melt the waterproof eye makeup on, especially when it comes to mascaras and eyeliners. I think this having a specific type of eye makeup remover is great. And then here I have the Nivea 3 in 1 Daily Anti Blemish Exfoliating Wipes. Now, this is for blemish prone skin, but my skin type isn't really like that. But for me, I like how this wipe is textured, so it really does help with removing the makeup and it also you know, gently exfoliates your skin so it leaves your skin feeling quite smooth and um, although I wouldn't really suggest using this on its own for occasions where you're like at a sleepover let's say or like you're hanging out late at night and you really need to remove your makeup this is like a quick and easy way to just remove your makeup um, there's also micellar waters but I don't really like that because I don't know I don't like that feeling of having to just depend on the water itself to just let it cleanse and not have to wash my face off of that it just feels weird for me so I don't really use that and then lastly the one I use the most is the Etude House Real Art Perfect Cleansing Oil the strong and perfect one this is the orange type and it's an oil base I think ever since I started using this back in 2013 I've stuck to it um, I fell in love with cleansing oils because it just really helps with removing the makeup and here I'm just pumping two to three pumps because I have quite a lot of makeup on today. These guys can't tell but I do. I have a very thick foundation on. So here I just tend to massage it on the palm of my hands and like this I would start I guess rubbing it on my face and just watch it melt the makeup off and Usually, I would just do it all over like in one go, but for today's video or walkthrough routine, um, I'm going to do it a little bit more cleaner where you guys don't see all the black mascara smudging everywhere, so that's what I do. I just apply it onto my cheeks first, and then from here, I'm using the rest, and this is when I start to get quite messy. I would just applied everywhere. Now, usually this specific cleansing oil can get rid of all my waterproof eye makeup like eyeliner and mascara, but um, if not, like there's some times where I use a really strong mascara, then I would use this Nivea one. So um, let's just see how this goes and um, yeah, <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this right now. So when you're on the eyes, you really have to be gentle, you don't want to rub too hard but at the same time, we do want the product to get onto your lashes to help remove the mascara. Oh my god, this is how I look like. Oh my jeez. <laughs> this is the part where I tend to look like shit, so I do apologize. Okay. I 
can't even look at myself in the camera anymore because I'm dreading it. Oh, but you really have to be thorough with this because you know, you do want to remove all the makeup in one go. Fingers crossed. But um, <laughs> I can't even look at myself. <laughs> Two to three minutes, you should be good. Um, right now, your face should look like somewhat like this, where the makeup is just all smudged everywhere. I'm going to quickly rinse my face and I'll get on to the second step. So the second step to my makeup removal is using a um, exfoliating scrub. Now this is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. Um, and um, yeah, I've been using this for the past year and a half already, almost two years now. So I just apply quite a bit and my face is wet um, and I'm just going to massage product on kind of apply it on like a face mask at first and then I will just exfoliate my entire face with this and I've mentioned in previous skincare videos that as a routine I double cleanse um, meaning I cleanse my face twice um, first cleansing step for me is using an exfoliator or an exfoliant and then the second step for cleansing is using a foam cleanser so one that's not harsh on the skin at all so now I'm just going to massage the scrub all over my face now you can really um, so because it has actual natural ingredients or exfoliants um, you can control the harshness of it um, with mixing it with water so if you want you know quite the heavy exfoliant then you could just use a product as it is with a little bit of water or like your face wet but if your skin is very sensitive and you have acne prone skin, I guess mixing it with a little bit of water to kind of dilute it would be great. Just so your skin won't be too irritated. And I'm just quickly looking. I think all my mascara is gone so I don't think I have to use my separate eye makeup remover so yay. So on to the second part of the double cleansing. I am using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizing Foaming Cleanser. Now this is pretty much a bubble cleanser and two pumps. Two pumps is great and I like this one because right now it's winter time here and you... I just need to maintain the moisture in my skin that gets stripped off. And during the winter time I like to switch my skincare products up or my foam cleanser so sometimes I'd use one that's more um, I guess mattifying and pore focus when it's win um, summertime because that's when my skin gets really oily but when it's winter time my skin's dry so I like to use one that's very hydrating on the skin and this looks like it doesn't really do much but I just like how it makes my skin feel right after using it and it's a gentle cleanser so I do enjoy that after the exfoliating scrub so we're almost done after i rinse this we are up to the final step for my makeup removal routine and um basically that's it so i'll be back now onto the final step i use my i use my trusty etude house wonder pore freshener toner as long as you use a toner right after that it kind of helps seals back the pores so closes them up and it just balances out your skin moisture level and the pH all of that and um, yeah pretty much off of this you would just use your um, your skincare routine straight off there so basically that was it for my makeup removal routine I think I called this the skincare routine earlier in the beginning of the video but it's actually a makeup removal video so you can also consider this video as a get unready with me because yeah I am now barefaced hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully it was helpful um, but yeah that's pretty much it so I'll see you guys next time bye